What a gorgeous day outside today. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Bama Saltwater Fishing episode. If this is your first time to the channel, what is going on? How are you doing? We are going to do some awesome fishing today inshore. I'm going to keep this intro sweet, short, and to the point. So we're going to throw some artificials. Mom is with me today. I have some medium fast action inshore rods. We're going to fish the bay over here and throw some artificials for some hopefully flounder and possibly redfish. So without further ado, let's get baited up. I'm going to show you what I'm using and we'll get to fishing. These are the Fight Club lures, which is made by Fish Bites. And I have a few packs. They're just a scented curly tail. This is a five inch dirty boxer in the white knuckle color. So if if I can find them, I'll link them down in the description below so you can pick you up some. We're gonna be using these on some quarter ounce red jig heads. My leader is 20 pound Yazuri fluorocarbon. The setup I'm throwing this on is a Shimano Ultegra 3000, spooled up with 20 pound Power Pro Super Slick 8 braid. And the rod I'm throwing this on is a seven and a half foot St. Croix Avid Inshore rod. This is a medium fast action. I'm gonna get baited up, rig these on, and see what we can catch. So I just grabbed me one. They're just a scented curly tail. They have a really good fish attracting smell to them and i've caught some pretty good fish on them but all you do is just push it up on that jig head and that is it really easy so this is what they look like in the water they have a really good swimming action to them all right i'm going to take this fish bites fight club dirty boxer here and cast this out and hopefully we can get in some nice flounder they're really simple to work and they're quite effective at covering the bottom but all you do is let it fall reel in your slack give it a hop let it fall reel in your slack give it a hop all the way back really simple it can't be far from here oh there's one there's one all right i think i have a flounder on yeah there we go got one <laughs> you can feel them bite i'm gonna get a little bit further out of the water here yeah here it comes it ain't no keeper <laughs> yeah it ain't a keeper it's a little baby but what a beautiful little fish on that fish bites fight club lure look at that heck yeah nice little flounder that it is not legal in alabama they have to be 14 inches minimum and you can keep them pretty much year round except for the month of november the, the month of november flounder are closed so you cannot keep them we're in october i don't know when i'm gonna post this video but let's let him go and right down to the bottom and he is swimming out <laughs> that was cool so on that fish bite spike club lure right there so that was pretty cool he wasn't a keeper that was probably a 10 inch flounder like i said in alabama they have to be 14 inches you can keep them practically year round except for the entire month of november it is closed for flounder commercial and recreational so in november you can't keep any flounder i'm gonna cast this artificial back out there and see what else we can find they can't resist these fight club lures especially the dirty boxer that curly tail so let's get back to fishing boom that's a cast right there oh i think i got one yeah i got one ah got one right there as soon as it hit the water ah. I was backing up because I was pretty deep. So it doesn't feel like it's going to be a keeper, but you never know until it gets to the bank here. So let's see. It's definitely another flounder. <laughs> another flounder. He possibly would be close to 14, but I'm not going to bother measuring them. And I'm just a big firm believer in let them go, let them grow. Look at that. They love this bait. And let this one go. Go get bigger, buddy. <laughs> Alrighty, there weren't keepers, but hey, it is what it is. We're actually catching fish and that's pretty fun to do. These lures have incredible action in the water. Check that out. That tail just looks like something swimming around, such as a minnow or big old finger mullet. Not worry about that. Oh, there's one. As soon as I cast. Ah, got one. They're deep, so I have to wait out pretty far. And by the time I walk back, something grabs it. But this one feels kind of small but it's... <laughs> yeah let mom reel one in i know oh actually it's pulling pretty good so i'm gonna get a little bit closer to the bank and see um it is beautiful i don't think it's going to be a keeper it's pretty small but they have no hesitation of fish this size eating a big bait what a beautiful fish that's my third one but it's not a keeper so i gotta toss it back all right there you go he didn't like me pulling the hook out of him but he's gone <laughs> hope that's gonna be one i know it 
Oh yeah, there's one. He's biting on it. Got it. Ah, oh, his little baby. He just grabbed the tail. So I'm gonna change my lure out because I caught three fish on it, so I got my money's worth out of it, but it's starting to dissolve a little bit fast. So I'm gonna put on a fresh one. I like to go through these nose of these baits. Pretty simple to rig up. And there we go. We're back in action again. All right, I have a fresh fish bite fight club lure on, and I want to get a nice keeper flounder. We'll see what happens here. I'm gonna just keep on fishing. See, look at that. It's pulling. Got one. Ah, got one. <laughs> Feels like it's another small one again. Ah, let's see. Let's bring in. Yeah, it's another small little flounder. I'm surfing it. <laughs> Check that out. Here it goes. <laughs> he ate a bait almost as long as he is. That's a beautiful little flounder. Nowhere near a keeper. And thank you for giving my lure back. And I'm going to let you go, buddy. See if he swims out of my arm. Oh, and he splashed us. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, I just caught that undersized flounder. We're also fishing kind of in the middle of the day, so that can make a big difference. But I'm going to continue casting the same lure out and see if I can catch number five. Oh, I already got one. Oh, that might be a good one. I don't know. It's coming in pretty, pretty easy, but that was just really quick. I didn't even. You know, I just closed the bale <laughs> and I already got one. Come on. I'm walking closer to the shore, so if it is a keeper, I can swing them up on the beach. This one's a decent fish, though. Come on, flounder. He might keep. That might be a keeper. I'm going to go measure it and see. We just measured him with the ruler. He is just under 14. Someone toss this beautiful fish back. You don't want to keep him out of the water very long. But what a beautiful flounder. Thanks for letting me catch you. Go grow into a big old doormat. <laughs> He's gone. I think that was number five for me, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> and uh, how many have you caught so far? Oh, oh wait, I know, I know. Today? No, I'm just kidding. Today? Uh-huh, today. <laughs> Oh, there's one. Ah, I got another one. <laughs> I just caught that other one that was barely any any size to him, you know, just under 14. So here's another one that feels halfway decent, but we'll find out. <laughs> I was not casting for a while to let mom try to catch one. <laughs> Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. Wow, that was such a Yeah, it ain't a keeper, but it's thick. Okay. Another beautiful flounder. Oh, and he's gone. So that is really nice to see all these flounder. I think that was my sixth one. Our flounder population here in the South Alabama and even over in Florida has definitely taken a hit over the past few decades, but it's starting to make a comeback. We're definitely starting to see more fish, which is good. And we have that closure in November, so you can't keep those big breeder fish that are going out spawning. But I'm gonna continue fishing, see if we can get number seven. Oh, something hammered it. Still got it. Ah, got another one. I think this is number seven. Yeah, this is number seven, I'm pretty sure. The problem is, is it's another small one. Let's see here. Yeah. It's another baby. It's a real small one. Oh, and he's gone. Okay, I just caught seven flounder so far, all undersized, but I'm gonna grab me another bait. So you can catch a decent amount of fish on one, and then after a while, the tail starts getting torn up. So it's really easy just to grab another one and rig it up and see if we can get back into action here. Boom, there we go. Let's see if we can get another one. I'm trying to find a legal one, but I'm happy just to catch fish. It's always fun to be able to get out and enjoy the great outdoors, especially when you have beautiful weather like this. Pretty soon we'll be in water where you don't really want to get that wet. <laughs> oh, there's one. Ah, got one. And it doesn't feel like it's going to be a keeper either, but it's a fish, nevertheless. It's definitely a flounder. 
So, yeah, look at him, he's water skiing. Water skiing right back. <laughs> oh, they're getting smaller and smaller. Look at that. <laughs> wow, All right. that's a beautiful. We're gonna let them go. This little guy has a big old appetite. Maybe one day he'll grow up and become a big old 25 inch doormat. But for now, he's got some growing to do. There he goes, straight down to the bottom again. The dirty boxer is putting in some work today. We're not really going home with any fish because they're all undersized for a nail. But that's just the way the ball bounces sometimes. Or the way the lure bounces, I should say. But I'm gonna cast this back out. But I think that was number eight. All not legal. So still fun nevertheless. Oh, there's another one. Oh. This one might be keeper. Pulling pretty good. Oh, this is number nine. This one I think is a keeper, mom. We'll, we'll find out, it's biting pretty, it's pulling pretty good. Oh man, yeah, <laughs> it's not a bad fish. Come on, get up on that bank. Oh, he gone. <laughs> Wasn't meant to be. So that one was probably a keeper. That was the best one of the day, but hey, that's what happens. Flounder is super notorious of coming off, right? As soon as you try to bring them out of the water. They have some pretty good resistance in the water, but that was a decent fish. Man, maybe I can get back out there and catch them again. But losing a nice flounder like that definitely hurts a little bit, but you can't sit there and sulk about it. All you can do is make sure your bait's good, cast out and try again. All right, well, mom just lost one. We didn't see it, but we kind of know what it is. <laughs> One cast again. I think that was my ninth fish. All right, mom has a nice fish here. Oh, did it come off? And then it's probably just holding on to the tail. So you probably need to let it feed a little bit more and then set the hook harder. So mom just got bit off. There might be some Spanish mackerel around and she's missed two already. So getting some bites, but I've caught nine. That last one was actually a pretty decent one. Still kind of upset that I lost it, but it is what it is. At least it got to swim back and go get bigger. Oh, there's one. Is he gonna eat it? Ah, got him. Ah. <laughs> See if I can get him in. Nah, feels kind of small. I mean, he doesn't feel like a complete baby, but it don't feel like it's gonna be a keeper. <laughs> Come on in. We'll find out. I don't know. He's got a little bit of weight to him. But yeah, I don't. I, he's he would be. He would be close, but I'm not gonna bother measuring him. Beautiful fish. A few years ago, he would be legal. He's definitely at 12 inches. Okay, buddy, go back. <laughs> Do the flounder flop. <laughs> Quit floundering around. That was, number, that was number 10. Sweet. All right, that was my 10th fish for the day. I'm gonna put on one more bait. And then if I don't catch anything here in the next few casts or mom doesn't, then we're gonna head out. Oh, there's one. Oh, that was a good one. It took something. I just set the hook. I hadn't checked my leader the entire time. I made a fatal mistake by not doing that. Flounder do have teeth, not really enough to cut you off like extremely, but after a while, you know, after 10 fish, you want to check your leader. 20 pound fluorocarbon can withstand a lot of abrasion and tooth marks, but I didn't check it at all. So I went to go set the hook on that and it cut me off. We had a pretty great day, but this was our bait choice today. The Fish Bites Fight Club, five inch dirty boxer in the white knuckle color. If I can find them, I'll link them down in the description below for you. But the setup I was using was the Shimano Altegra 3000, a seven and a half foot St. Croix Avid Inshore rod in a medium fast action. And then this is pulled up with 15 pound Power Pro Super Slick Braid, and we were using 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. So I wanna make sure I take everything that I brought out with me before I head out as to not leave any trash anywhere. Mom is still fishing back there. She wants to go home, otherwise I keep on fishing, but she's trying to get at least one. If it doesn't happen, hey, it is what it is. But we had a great afternoon slash evening of fishing, especially being able to catch 10 flounder no matter what their size are, is still pretty fun. But they did all have to go back, minus the one that I lost. That one was a decent one, probably 15 inch, 16 inch fish. But I appreciate y'all for watching. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet already, please hit it down below. It allows you to keep up with some great 
fun and entertaining content like this. And I really appreciate all y'all who have subscribed and got the channel where it is today as it's ever growing. And it is awesome to see the progress of the channel from where it started. If you enjoyed these videos, hit that like button. It's that thumbs up down below this video. I appreciate everybody for watching. We will see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing episode. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. And we'll see you later.